are they gonna do? Arrest us for sleeping. They'll be angry at us. Angry at us. Those young whippersnappers having a lovely time. Get out, scram. After converting our camper in the spring, this is going to be our first proper taste of winter van life. Following a brief break in Mallorca, where we tested out a brand new camper van and did our first bit of public speaking, we've returned home to a very chilly British winter. You join us as Emma gracefully climbs over the grassy. <laughs> we parked too close to the verge. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back in our old van. Like as nice as the T6 was, I really do prefer driving this one. It feels like like home, I suppose. I guess the closest thing I could sort of compare it to is like if you borrow someone else's child <laughs> and it's it's just not the same as when you get your child back, is it? I wouldn't know because I've never done either. I don't have my own and I wouldn't borrow someone else's. <laughs> you are the weirdest man. <laughs> As Christmas is about time spending with the ones you love, we've come to the local nature reserve. <laughs> <laughs> to go bird spotting. <laughs> to spend time with my best friends, all the duckies. <laughs> We're going to be the biggest losers on YouTube. I <laughs> I think it's sweet. <laughs> Alex is quite excited right now because there have been sightings of the elusive kingfisher. That's right, Alex's favorite bird. Is it your number one bird? I happen to have learned the bird call for <laughs> kingfisher, just in case it's nearby. <laughs> we haven't heard it yet. <laughs> First proper taste of van life in the winter. We've not done this yet. Scotland was cold, but like autumnal cold, chilly, shall we say. Yeah, I mean, technically, and I know you guys like to be technical in the comments, <laughs> it's not actually winter yet, but it feels like it, I, so it might as well be. I feel like as soon as December hits, it's winter to me. Yeah. I know it doesn't really start till like the end of December. But for me, December, January, February, that's winter. I know technically that's wrong, but. We are still trying to decide where we're gonna go for the next few months yeah, basically. Yeah, to do our next big series and it's a hard one to choose. We, we want to take the van over to Europe because we haven't done that yet and that would just be the most magical experience. But we would like to know where would you like to see us go in the van in Europe? It could be hot places, could be cold places. We might just decide to do something completely different than what we're saying. <laughs> so don't hold us accountable to this but we'd still love to know what you think. One of the best things in the UK during winter is that the Christmas sandwiches are back in town. Woo -woo. And these are the best sandwiches that exist. In the whole wide world. In the whole wide world. And I will not hear any other side of the argument. I'm intrigued actually, people outside of the UK, do you do this? I know Americans have like Thanksgiving sandwiches. Mm. I've learned that from friends. And pumpkin spiced everything. <laughs> but do they? <laughs> <laughs> but do you do the Christmas sandwich? The same with the Aussies, the Kiwis, and the Sydneyfricans. <laughs> <That's laughs> do <fine>. you do? <laughs> do you do? Everyone that celebrates Christmas, do you have Christmas sandwiches? Yes. We need to know. And which is the best one for me? It has to be a turkey and cranberry and stuffing sandwich. Is it a Christmas sandwich without cranberry? I don't think it is. I think that's what makes it Christmas, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. It, otherwise, it's just a, like a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to level with you. I like to exaggerate. They're not necessarily the best sandwiches that exist. <laughs> They're perfectly fine. It's just whatever mood I'm in, I think it's going to be the best. And <laughs> actually, they're good. They're good. Is it one of those things where the idea of it is always more exciting 100%. than the reality? And it's never as good as a leftovers from Christmas sandwich oh. that you make out of your own stuff that your mum has cooked you. <laughs> <laughs> From this moment on, this is the only way you will hear the travel beans speak. This is the sort of thing we do to keep 
the travel beans entertained whilst on the road. <laughs> We'd like to thank you for watching us on the internet. <laughs> and if you would like to watch more, make sure to hit subscribe. Don't forget to press that like button. And if you even want... <laughs> And if you <laughs> and leave a comment as well. <laughs>looks lovely any time of the year that you come here but we wanted to come and see what it's like on the lead up to Christmas now that it's December and it hasn't disappointed it's so lovely I I instantly feel festive I think because we were in Mallorca before and we've just been kind of doing our own thing at home we haven't been out and about we haven't been getting in the festive spirit of things we haven't even heard Mariah Carey annoy us yet no we have not so we're going to get the Christmas songs in the van soon. We're going to have Christmas movies at night and we're kicking it off with the Christmasness, Christmasness, Christmasiness in Bath. surefire way of getting into the Christmas spirit is getting a Christmas jumper and I don't have one I haven't bought one for years so I feel like it's about time <laughs> it's massive that's the point isn't it for the Christmas dinner to fit <laughs> to fit it all in with a new Christmas jumper in hand we made our way to a friend's house where we spent the rest of the evening now I know some of you at home are thinking, what on earth do those beans get up to when they're tucked up in bed at night in their van? That's right, we read! <laughs> A big thank you to Readly for being the sponsor of today's video. We've shown you guys Readly before and we are so chuffed to be working with them again because we've been using them for a few months now and we love the app. Readly is an online magazine subscription giving you access to up to 5,000 magazine titles. One of my personal favourites for a good bit of travel inspiration has to be Wanderlust magazine, although I do know that Alex is partial to oogling at some hot birds. One of the biggest benefits to us for having a magazine subscription on our devices is that we don't have to worry about using up space because as you know, space is a premium in this tiny little camper van. Readly also gives you access to magazines offline which means when we're out in the middle of nowhere without any signal we can still get hot and steamy with our food magazine recipes <laughs> it's really easy to sign up and we will actually be leaving a link down in the description below for a limited offer of one month for free and then after that it's a very reasonable $7.99 a month and you can cancel that anytime so if you're interested in checking out check out the link in the description Night one in the van in winter was actually extremely comfortable, I would say. I don't know what you would say, but I was snug as a bug in a rug. When I first got in the van, it was so cold. <laughs> but luckily we have the diesel heater, so it was fine. Once I got snuggled up in my PJs and in bed, it was actually quite cozy. And I don't know if anyone else is the same, but whenever I go camping, I kind of like the feeling of coldness when I'm in the bed. Like yeah, you're all snuggled up in bed, but it's like cold outside. It's much better to be cold in bed than be warm in bed, I think. That's true. When I'm too warm in bed, I can't sleep. One bonus that we didn't really think about before getting the van was how easy it is to go and see friends. Like we, we kind of touched on this when we went to London to do the stealth camping video and that was great going to see friends in London but just being able to be like oh hey what are you up to tonight just popping over and parking in their garden and you kind of doesn't feel like you're imposing too much because no. you sleep outside on the streets yes like a normal human <laughs> I think the van has reached its final form. It's the ultimate stealth, the stealth slash machine. camper van. It's so good now how it kind of blends oh. in like it's a normal car, but the fact that we can take it to nature. Yeah. Actually, 10 out of 10. One thing I want to mention here, because we always get the odd comment that's like, 
You're disgusting. Where do you go to the toilet? We have a toilet in the van. Also, toilets <laughs> exist, you know, just in general life. It's quite easy to find a toilet if you're looking. <laughs> yeah, so before you attack us, we do have one. <laughs> The best thing for me about going to the cities is just to like be in the city, yeah. not to go and actually do anything specific. Agreed. So it doesn't take very long usually for me to then go down the food route. <laughs> it's either food or booze. <laughs> <laughs> it was my turn to cook in the van, so obviously I've insisted we go out. And we went to St Nicholas Market, which is absolutely rammed. And human nature is, you see a long queue, I want the food from there. Yeah, you know it's got to be good. So Emma went off to go and get some dumplings by herself. She had to eat them in the queue because the queue was so long. <laughs> I've got to show you what the hell this is. I mean, okay, this is gonna look so dirty. This is like a barbecue box. That looks outrageous. I want to let you know a little secret about me that I, behind the scenes, behind the travel beans, real Alex, I turn everything into a sandwich. Everything. Everything. We could be in a fancy restaurant and I will find a way. You can't take him anywhere. Like, he will be in the fanciest place and he will do this. Emma gets so embarrassed by me <laughs> and I don't care. Because, as a sandwich king, any other sandwich kings or queens out there, you know that it's everything's better in between bread. <laughs> Look at this. Like, this pork should go in between bread. You look so happy. I know this makes me like a child. Anyone out there do this? Oh God, always the chips inside the burger. Any potato, hash browns. <laughs> I think like with the channel, we definitely love doing like the big series the most, especially, you know, like Scotland. It was actually just like a dream come true to go there and experience that and really get our teeth into something. But I also equally really love these in-between moments where we can just kind of be for yeah, a little those bit. Those series are very intense. It is very intense and we feel not burnt out by the end, but definitely like it's very overwhelming, the whole process. And we love the whole process, but it is nice. Like now we've been to Mallorca, we did that talk. I can't believe we did public speaking. That's just nuts. Um, and now we're back here and it's just nice to decompress and be and like live van life in that how I imagine van life to be in that like really relaxing just taking each day as it comes and kind of mellowing out a little bit after such a extreme few months that we've had So, in our infinite wisdom, we thought, why not let loose? Just relax and just be in the city, have a few drinks, play some Pac-Man. And you're already in a bad mood because the amount that you just lost at Pac-Man. Oh, oh, was I now? Yeah, so we've had to buy a new microphone because somebody lost the first one. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> this could be shocking. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. What does this sound like, any good? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing for you, you and me. me. <laughs> Have we made a mistake? Yes. We're parked next to a bar. So, is it weird? Because the sliding door's on the side of the bar, like everyone can just see us getting in and out of our bedroom. <laughs> When we pulled up, it didn't feel, it looked like it was all closed. Yeah. Everything's closed during COVID. Not in England. Not but. anymore. Not anymore. It's all happening now. It's a Saturday night as well. We've forgotten that there's, there's life in the city on a Saturday night. I think rather than going in through the side door and drawing lots of attention to ourselves, we're just going to sneak through the little cubby hole down here. <laughs> <laughs> Into Narnia. <laughs> to the back of the van. Let's look quietly so no one will notice. Goodbye! <laughs> I feel like such a child. <laughs> I don't know why I've just knocked over. Oh god, my foot's stuck. Good morning! Good morning, Brisbane!
successful! <laughs> we had a very successful night of stealth camping right outside a very busy bar. We went to bed really early. I'm pretty sure it was like nine o'clock. We were, we were all tucked up going to sleep. And yeah, kick out time was noisy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but actually other than a few people outside it was quite a good night's sleep we didn't get bothered or anything <laughs> this is always the bit where I imagine like I open the window and look outside and there's just like three police officers just waiting what are they gonna do arrest us for sleeping they'll be angry at us angry at us those young whippersnappers having a lovely time get out scram Give me the keys to drive the van. I don't think I've seen you have this much energy in the morning for a long time. See, van life is good for the soul. Last night at the Christmas market, we saw these igloo things. Yeah, they looked awesome and they looked so snug and warm. So I booked one for this morning because it was recently my parents' 60th birthday. That's right, plural. <laughs> Their birthdays are eight days apart and they're the same age. And weirdly, if you don't know, me and Emma, we're 12 days apart, exactly the same age. Weird. <laughs> Beans can't survive without the beanies. No. I think half our channel this day is just us praising ourselves for choosing the van that we chose because now we're in this multi story car park. It fits in like a glove. It's so good. We can just go anywhere. It is so good. It makes me so happy. We don't have to do any stressing whatsoever. I don't think we go anywhere without, after about one minute of walking, Emma said, Oh, I've just forgotten something. And we always have to go back. Thank you. the igloo is like one of those things I always wish that I'd have done but I'm so glad we actually went and did it this time because it was lovely. It was and my parents loved it and they surprised us to tell us that they have their own camper van now. They do so we're gonna be going in convoy in the future I'm sure. <laughs> the beans and the has-beens in convoy. They call themselves that it's not ever just being really no. mean to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Leave in the comments where would you like to see us to go this winter. We're very excited to explore, but we would not be able to survive if it wasn't for our lovely little diesel heater. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's my favourite part of the van right now. Now that it's cold, it's my favourite part of the van. <laughs> Make sure you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and check out the Readly offer if it's something that you're interested in. And nothing left to say. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And peace out! <laughs>